Hello, Brian Myers with Winning Solutions Inc. with another Microsoft Access Expert tutorial for you. Uh, today we're going to look at trusted locations errors. These often occur when you download uh, applications from the web and try to run them on your machine. As an example, I'm going to use one of our code samples from our website www.microsoftaccessexpert.com. So I have the website brought up here and I'm going to go to our first code sample here, uh, numbers to words. And I'm going to download the Access 2007, 2010, 2013 uh, demo version of this code sample. So I'm going to right click on the link and say save link as. And I'm going to save it to my desktop. And well, that's all we need our browser for. So we're going to come over here. Here it is on the desktop. This is a compressed zip file, so we'll have to extract it first. We extract by right clicking, say extract all. It's defaulted to my desktop. I'll go ahead and have it show extracted files when it's completed. So go ahead and click extract. And here is our Microsoft Access uh, code sample that we're going to try out here. So I'm going to double click on this and here is the warning that I've been talking about. A potential security concern has been identified. Now what this is, it's, it doesn't mean that the Access uh, database is uh, dangerous at all. It's just that uh, Microsoft has built-in security that you have to add the directory that the Access application is running from to allow it to run on your computer safely. So go ahead and click open and to get to the trusted locations we're going to go up here to the file tab and then down to the options. Um, let's see here. Trust Center here on the left and then there's a button here that says Trust Center Settings. Go ahead and click on that. And finally, the Trusted Locations. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a new location. And I save that to my desktop. So there it is. There's the directory. Click on it and just click OK. Click OK again. Click OK. OK. And just to show you how that works is we're now going to close this access application. Here we're back to our desktop. We'll double click on it again. And now we don't get that security warning. Uh, thank you for following us on YouTube. You can also hit us up on Facebook, www.facebook.com forward slash AIMSWSI. We're also on Twitter at www.twitter.com forward slash WSI Tech. If you have any access questions or need any access support, please visit our website at www.microsoftaccessexpert.com. And we'll see you next time. Thanks.